Hello traders, Rich here and today we are going to learn how to analyze any chart from scratch in an objective manner using RHTL. That's my previous AUD set chef analysis and previously we were looking for buy setups around the demand zone intersecting with the lower brown trend line acting as a non-horizontal support. Vice versa, we were looking for sell setups around the upper bound of the channel as a non-horizontal resistance intersecting with the horizontal resistance in red. At any time, you can check my previous ideas on TradingView by going to tradingview.com slash you slash the signalist, which is my profile. For now, let's go back to AUD set chef delete everything and do it again from scratch. I always start from weekly and monthly time frame to know where we are in the market and identify our key rejection zones by drawing support and resistance, trend lines, and so on. I always start by drawing my support and resistance and we only draw it objectively using RHTL by connecting at least three diamonds. That's the first one, second, and third. Right, for example, we've got one right there. That's how simple it is by simply connecting the dots. If you go a little bit lower, you maybe find one right there, one, two, and three, and do it quickly because I care the most about the current price action, right? And we've got one around this area, very, very strong support. So it was objective from here. I was previously looking for bus stops around the lower bound of it, around this support. Once broken downward, it's now acting as a resistance and I was looking for bus setups, for set setups, sorry, around this level. Area. And I can find one more just like that. It was a support, support, and now a resistance. It's an objective support and resistance also drawn using the HTL. Next, we draw our trend lines by connecting at least two diamonds on weekly and monthly time frame. For example, we've got an impulse correction and an impulse again. I'm able to draw this trend line just like that and make an offset for it. So now as price approaches the lower band, just like we did, if you remember on the previous AD search of analysis, I had my arrow right there. So I'd be looking for bus stops. It's also a demand zone. We'll see it better hopefully on weekly time frame. But first, of course, it's just to feed over or more. I'm not going to enter trades on monthly time frame, right? But it's just for over direction. So weekly, monthly for over direction and key rejection levels, daily and H4 for the market structure and H1 and M30 are for the entries or for the trigger. Anyway, for now, we know that we are bearish. If you zoom into weekly time frame, we can feel the mock structure even more. For example, we have been bullish previously and then price failed to make a higher high, instead made a lower high. So it was a shape of a head and shoulders. Price broke the neckline and starting from here, we are bearish. Price kept making lower lows and lower highs until here we got into a correction phase and then price broke below the lows. So now we are bearish again. And now we make lower lows and lower highs until this one is broken and now we are bearish again. Anyway, we know that we are bearish as we drew this falling channel from monthly time frame. We had this trend line previously and with this trend line previously and so on. But let's keep it clean. Let's focus on the current price action. Lately, we have been trading here we go, making low lows and low highs, but we'll see it even better from daily time frame. For now, from weekly, I also draw my support and resistance. For example, I couldn't see this one from uh, monthly. One, two, three, four, a very, very strong one. Also, this one right there, one, two, three, and lately price rejected it. So I was looking for such stops around this area previously. And of course, as we approach this zone here, I'll be looking for buy stops because it's a demand zone. So now, for example, I start to look for buy setups. If you zoom into daily time frame, we can identify the latest price action even more. For example, we have been trading inside this falling broadening wedge. Sorry about that. So just like that. Okay, so it's a falling channel, but if you connect this one as well, it would be a falling broadening wedge. And as we are approaching this demand zone, I'll be looking for buy setups. Previously, I was looking for sell setups around the upper bound or by rejecting or retesting the resistance zone from weekly and monthly time frame. So long story short, previously, I was looking for, let me zoom into and 30 to show you. For some setups, if you remember, for those who have been following me, so bears took over, bulls took over, lately bears took over, and now I'm waiting for the bulls to take over again to go for a long position. Previously, or last week, I went for this sell, short position after a momentum candle closed below the neckline. So this was my entry. The stop loss was above the previous swing high, also objective stop loss above the previous RHTL diamond. And I target a one to two risk to reward ratio to have an edge over the market. I'm following the same logic for now, as long as we are bearish, we are not breaking above the last 
uh, high or the last red uh, objective high from HTL. Once we have the break above it, since we are around the support and the noise under support, I'll be looking for buy stops. So once we have a momentum candle close, that would be our confirmation. The buy would be here. The stop loss would be up uh, below the previous blue dot, which might be forming after this one trades a little bit higher. And I target a one to two ratio, ratio, which would be around this area. Of course, meanwhile, until the buy is activated, a research F would trade lower and lower. And in this case, I'll be updating my last objective swing by doing this. So this is basically it. We draw objective supply and resistance, objective trend lines, and, and all of it. You can get rich TL. Uh, only from the official website richtl.com so please like, like be aware of scammers and kind of people trying to impersonating uh, to impersonate me so that's basically it and i'll see you hopefully on the next one